Now, first of all, read the question, corresponding question. Find the tension of each string, okay, and acceleration of each block. Our motor determine tension in each string, and what about acceleration of 2 kg block and 3 kg block, okay? So, first of all, if you draw the phasor di block diagram, free wire diagram of 2 kg mass and 3 kg mass, okay? That is 2 kg mass and this one is a 3 kg mass, okay? This one is 3 kg mass and that one is 2 kg mass, okay? We have focus on free body diagram, means we have focus on indirect contact force and direct contact force. Indirect contact force on 3 kg block is which one? Downward, how much? 3 into G. Corresponding question G is taken 10, so that is 30 Newton downward, okay? Now look here, indirect contact force that is 2G, that is 20 Newton downward. Now next one, direct contact force, direct contact force by this is string, so that one upward direction that is T, okay? This is string is massless and smooth surface is smooth, that's why tension in all point in this string are same, okay? So that if this one is T, then here also T, clear or not? So, so now, now next one and that is surface, okay? This one surface, there are direct contact force, this one, this one, this one and this one, four contact force are available for 2 kg mass, okay? Perpendicular, normal force perpendicular to the surface, always perpendicular to the surface and here 20 Newton, here 20 Newton, okay? String develop tension like that one and 20 Newton force apply here, okay? Clear or not? This is the complete phasor diagram of 2 kg mass. And this one is a complete phasor diagram of 3 kg mass. Clear or not? Now, if 2 kg, consider that is point, point mass. So, that is 20 Newton downward. Here, 20 Newton, like that one. Here, capital T, like that one. And here, N1, that, like that one. And what about 20 Newton? Like that one, 20 Newton, clear or not? Very simple. Simplify representation like that one, okay? Now, can also T upward and 30 Newton downward and that is capital T, clear or not? That point mass of 2 kg block and here point mass of 3 kg block, represent like that one. Now, next target, so now next target is we select vertical component and horizontal component. Vertical component, this block are moving in this direction, not moving li like that one. Why? Because of this is the inclined plane, always this block moving corresponding to that one, okay? It means what? Perpendicular to the plane are balance. Net force in perpendicular to the plane always zero. Okay? Or you can say that vertical component corresponding to that one and here that one force always balance. So this one is a V and this one is taken or H. That is capital Y and that cap capital X. Clear or not? So, after that, all component resolving corresponding to Y and capital X direction. Okay, now look. This one already in Y direction and this one is already in X direction and this one is also X direction. But this one and this one, both are not completely in X and Y. In X and capital Y. So, after that, these two are resolved in corresponding that one and that one. Clear? So, how can do it? So first of all, I know that if you see here, if this one is 37 degree, 
So this one is 37. If you make here, that is 37. This is also 37. Why? This one is 53 and that is 90. So 90 minus 53 again 37. So if this one is theta, then always that one is also theta. Clear or not? So that is 37 degree. Okay. This one is 37 degree. Okay. Now 20 Newton resolving in in that component in this direction is written 20 cos 37 degree. And here 20 sin 37 degree. Clear or not? After that, now this one, this one resolve already. This one, this direction and this direction. Now this one 20 Newton. 20 Newton means if you see here, this force going on this direction, it means that is 37 degree. If this one is 37, this is also 37. So you can say that that one is 37. Okay. So if 20 Newton resolve in in that direction, it is written as 20 cos 37 degree and here 20 sin 37 degree. Okay. So this component and this component also resolve in capital X, capital Y and capital X direction. Okay. Capital X R minus sorry capital X R minus capital X R Y capital capital Y R minus capital Y. Okay. Now after that Now, how can you resolve? First of all, look here. In vertical component, n1 this be equal to n1 is written, n1 is written very careful, carefully. Net force is zero corresponding to perpendicular to the plane. So it means vertical direction. So this force is equal to that force means that force is equal to sum of these two. So it is written as 20 sin 37 degree plus 20 cos 37 degree. And this one is written as 20 sin 37 is 0 0.6 and this is 20 into 0 0.8. So that is 12 Newton plus 16 that is 28 Newton okay normal force apply by inclined plane to the surface how much 28 Newton clear or not clear or not okay now next now next one we have considered block is moving corresponding to that direction that direction or suppose that that is a and that is b moving on a to b or b to a if you consider suppose that we have considered this one is moving this block is moving corresponding that one this is also moving on that one why both are connected semi string okay both are connected in semi string that's why if you moving corresponding that one and this is also moving on that one okay so if this whole block moving corresponding that one it means that force is greater than that force okay it means this one and this one sum of these two 20 plus 20 sin 37 is greater than t plus T plus 20 cos 37 this be equal to unbalanced force mass into acceleration what about mass 2 and that is A that is equation number 1 clear or not if these two are greater than these two then this whole system going on this direction why clear or not unbalanced force if you consider 
this whole block moving on downward only possible if these two sum of these two is greater than this one okay sum of these two 20 plus 20 sin 37 degree minus sum of these two t plus 20 cos 37 this is equal to unbalanced force unbalanced force always say mass into oscillation what about mass 2 kg and oscillation is a that's why now next one this block is moving on upward direction so you can say that only possible t is greater than t is greater than 30 newton it means t minus 30 this is equal to what about mass 3 into a that is equation number 2 okay after solving 1 and 2 this is 20 sin 20 into sin 30 already already have solved that is 12 that is 12 minus multiplication of minus t minus 20 cos 37 that is 16 so 16 this be equal to 2a or you can say that that is 32 this is we got 16 minus t this be equal to 2a and this one is t minus 30 this be equal to 3a this one is equation number 1 and that is equation number 2 both are adding we got minus 14 this be equal to 5a so what about a a is minus 14 by 5 it is written as minus 2.8 meter per second square it means whole system going on downward direction upward direction the whole system going on upward direction a is negative it means and what about tension if this value put here 30 plus 3 into minus 2.8 30 minus 2.8 now that is 0 0.6 that is 0 0.6 and 9 minus 8 that is 1 and that is 2 ok that is 21.6 Newton ok so final answer is what about tension in each string 21.6 Newton and what about oscillation of each block that is A this will be equal to 2.8 meter per second in which direction upward or A to B ok make it if you return A is positive meter per second square means direction is going on A to B